when the White House Republicans made a dent in the Democratic majority in the House of Representatives. And they have a record number of GOP women to thank for that, who more than doubled their numbers in this election. Joining me now, Republican Congresswoman-elect Nicole Maliotakis of New York and Congresswoman-elect Republican Nancy Mace of South Carolina. Thank you both for joining me. Congratulations to you both. Um, Congresswoman-elect Mace, I'll start with you. Republican women uh, more than doubled their numbers in the U.S. House this election. Right. Just 13 right now. Uh, it will be at least 28 in the next Congress. Why do you think Republican women performed better this year than in the past? Well, we had more women running this year, and it was an exciting time. We saw in 2018 a record number of Democrat women run and win. And if women want to have a seat at the table, then we've got to raise our hand and say, we're going to step into the arena, risk it all, and we're going to run. And we have to have more women run to win. And we can't just do this this year in 2020. This is something we have to do, especially in the House, every two years when we have our election cycles. But we made a huge a huge difference this year. And if we want to have a seat at the table, women have to run and they have to win. And the, the great thing about this story this year, Dana, and I'm so appreciative of you having Nicole and I on today, is that it's not just Democrat women that have a monopoly on breaking glass ceilings. Republican women have been doing it all year long in these elections all across the country. And in fact, 26 of the 27 toss-up races here this year were won by women, minorities, uh, combat vets. And in my case, I was in a lean Democrat seat that we took back this year. And it's just a, an exciting time to be part of history with all these great, hardworking women. And Congress